So here's a quick demonstration showing how to use QuickTime's media player to step through a video frame by frame if you wanted to try to collect data at very close time intervals. So this is a video I downloaded from YouTube. And I'm going to forward to a portion that I would potentially want to record. You can see what I'm trying to record actually is this uh, speed of the car versus time. The typical time you see is in seconds, and that's not nearly uh, accurate enough to get good data off of this. But if you go under uh, Window, Show Movie Inspector, and up, up pops this inspector, it tells you everything about the file. It tells you that the movie's been recorded at 29.97 frames per second, so roughly 30 frames per second, and it's going to play back at that rate. And it also gives me a very accurate timestamp down to a tenth, uh, hundredth of a second. And so what I can do now is once I'm in this mode, I can actually use my, I'm actually using my left and right arrow keys on my keyboard, and I'm actually pause, pacing through this frame by frame. And so I can just take a look at the data I have on my screen, and I can also at the same time record the actual time data up above. Um, and right now, for example, I'm at 1 minute 30.19 seconds. And one frame later, I'm at 1 minute 30.23 seconds, and so on and so forth. Just to show you an example of another video, here's one where you can actually, if you have some sort of uh, way to measure in the frame of reference, you can um, use that to uh, collect data as well. And I'm just going to swing a pendulum here. And so here I just paused it. And now I can move this frame by frame. And you'll notice that this gets blurry the faster it moves because I'm not using a high-speed camera at all. I'm just using a, my cell phone, I think, to record this particular one. But even so, you can actually use the ruler down below and make pretty good estimates of where this is in time and space.